सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन टू दिस अमेजिंग चैनल ऑफ फुल ऑफ शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम अमेजिंग एंड सुपर कूल ट्रिक्स टू आइडेंटिफाई द रिएक्शन वेदर इट इज स्पॉन्टेनियस और नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस सी ऑन दिस टॉपिक टू आइडेंटिफाई वेदर द रिएक्शन इज स्पॉन्टेनियस नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ योर थर्मोडाइनमिक्स केमिस्ट्री ओके मेनी क्वेश्चन हैव बीन एस्ड बेस्ड ऑन दिस टॉपिक सो वी नीड ए गुड ग्रास्प on this concepts and on this part of the chapter all right now let us see the first equation first let us see this equation you might be knowing this basic equation delta g is equal to h minus t delta s what delta g means here delta h also we can write here now delta g means as you all know gives free energy right this is gives free energy just small introduction i'm just trying to give okay gives free energy you all might be knowing all those things but just i'm just giving you delta h enthalpy enthalpy right now t means as you all know universal temperature temperature in kelvin then delta s is your entropy now now the main mudda comes okay now the main thing what we have to learn comes now imagine when the reaction become spontaneous when delta g when the gibbs free energy is negative then the reaction then the reaction becomes non spontaneous listen carefully whenever the delta g is negative then only the reaction is non spontaneous okay when it comes positive then the reaction becomes non spontaneous all right now here you can see delta h minus t delta s see here now we have few cases here first let us take if we have enthalpy as positive and entropy is also positive in the first case we have both the enthalpy and entropy as positive okay then let us come to temperature in the case of temperature we have divided in two categories we have two sub categories the first category is when temperature is low when temperature is low and the next category is when the temperature is high in this two cases we have to identify whether the reaction is spontaneous or non spontaneous now just identify okay just try to imagine just try to imagine and put those sign in the form of in in this form of equation see here delta g we need negative then only the reaction become spontaneous okay now as you can see here here delta h is positive but we need the total delta h minus t delta s as negative then only this becomes negative and the reaction become spontaneous okay here delta s that is entropy is also positive now temperature is low okay if temperature is low then the reaction become non spontaneous why it becomes non spontaneous because whenever temperature is low then the total because this is high right this is positive this is also positive then even if the temperature is low then this will not overcome this two quantities positiveness total expression will become positive the negativeness of this temperature will not be so high to overcome the positiveness of delta h and delta s so therefore just an overview i am giving if you need a detailed deep explanation i'm I'll, i'll make an another video on your recommendation if you want to watch and if you want to want to listen to that video you can comment me below i'll make a detailed video and i'll explain the mechanism of all this delta h delta s t and when it becomes spontaneous and non spontaneous just remember because this video i'm just discussing the trick right so whenever delta h become positive delta s is positive and temperature is low then reaction is non spontaneous and when the temperature is high then the highness okay then the high temperature overcomes because here if the temperature is high then you can see the symbol here minus okay if temperature is high then the negativeness of the overall reaction increases if negativeness overall increases then this will become negative if delta g become negative then of course reaction will become spontaneous okay reaction will become spontaneous now in second case i'll take both delta h and delta s as negative and the same similar temperature first case temperature is low then temperature is high see here both the quantities are less okay both the quantities are negative and now if temperature is low then the reaction will become spontaneous but when the temperature is high okay when the temperature is high it becomes non spontaneous how if the temperature is high then negative negative will become positive because minus into minus will become plus right so this is minus and if you increase the temperature then this will become positive total or 
total overall positive so positive character will increase therefore delta g will become positive and if this becomes positive then your reaction will be non spontaneous all right now let us come to the next case here i am taking delta h as negative and this i'll take as positive now this may, this may be any temperature at any temperature whenever you come across this cases when enthalpy is negative and entropy is positive then the reaction will be spontaneous all right the reaction will be spontaneous again i'm telling if you want to understand the mechanism of all these symbols in the in this form of equation if you want i'll make an another detailed video comment me below okay now the last case if this is positive and this is negative here we had taken this as negative and this is positive so i have taken the last case as delta h is positive and entropy has negative this is also any temperature because at any temperature we can find the delta g here now if you come across this cases then the reaction will be non spontaneous all right so in this manner if you just remember this one table just this one table if you remember okay then any question asked from this topic this part of thermodynamics easily you can crack it four marks is in your pocket okay easily you can grab four marks no one can take it okay so by had this table learn this table keep this in your mind you will never lose any marks from this topic so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button share with your loved ones as well as subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button because if you hit the bell button you will get notified whenever i upload any video and let me tell you every day i'll be uploading a video and if you if you watch all my videos definitely you can score very high okay so again thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button thank you